I rise on a question of privilege concerning my recent expulsion and... That expulsion, Jane Philpott claims, broke the rules of Parliament. The newly independent MP says she and Jody Wilson-Raybould had their rights violated by the Prime Minister when he kicked them out of caucus. Expulsion should not be his decision to take unilaterally. However, the decision had been already made. Philpott is now demanding a ruling from the Speaker. At issue is the previous Conservative government's private member's bill, which in part requires holding a caucus-wide vote you, before Speaker. expulsion. The author of that bill says the problem is the Liberals didn't clearly opt out of these guidelines. I raised this in the House and publicly uh, in December 2015 and now the chickens have come home to roost. Justin Trudeau denies this, saying it was made clear back in 2015 the Liberals would not abide by these rules. It was my decision to make, but uh, the fact that the caucus was uh, clear and united on that uh, made my decision easier. This former House of Commons law clerk says the Speaker is likely to rule in Trudeau's favour. I would expect his answer is going to be that uh, the uh, he has no jurisdiction to interfere and how the a caucus conducts its internal affairs, and, uh, and that's the end of it. Trudeau's decision is not sitting well with some Liberals in Philpott's Ontario riding. I've just have lost the will to campaign anymore and to serve. Leah Knutson was a leader on the team that organized Philpott's 2015 campaign. Of the 16 members, 10 quit last night, with another two expected to resign soon. Natsen says she will okay, still vote Liberal, I, I but is deeply disappointed. If a party is like a family, okay, and there's disagreements in the family, do you kick your kids out? If I just, if I kicked my, my children out every time I had a disagreement with them, I'd have no children left. And Katie joins us from West Block. Katie, some Liberal members questioning Jane Philpott's motives tonight. Quietly, yes, they are. The Speaker is unlikely to rule in Jane Philpott's favour, but what happened today does keep this story alive. For her part, Philpott says this is about clarity and knowing which rules apply moving forward. And she has publicly said she's aware her former Liberal colleagues don't want her or Jody Wilson-Raybould back in caucus. And that should come as no surprise. While she did not fully address all Liberal MPs, she had a very rough go defending her public criticism of the Prime Minister when she met privately with Ontario MPs. Ian. All right, Katie, thank you. And the Prime Minister stood his ground on another front today as well, defending a threat to sue the Conservative leader, Andrew Scheer, over his comments about the government's handling of the SNC-Lavalin affair. You can't be inventing things. You can't be lying to Canadians. Uh, and I think uh, highlighting that there are consequences, um, short-term and long-term, when politicians choose to uh, twist the truth and distort uh, reality for Canadians, it's not something we're going to put up with. The Prime Minister's lawyer sent Scheer a letter last week warning about what he called highly defamatory comments. Scheer then held a news conference this past Sunday revealing the threatened lawsuit and basically daring Trudeau to go through with it.